Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Baron just blindsided actor Peter Fonda today with devastating dose of karma, not taking it anymore. In a stunning display of Hollywood hypocrisy, Sony Pictures released a film starring Peter Fonda this week. This is despite the recent unhinged, sexist, disturbing Twitter tirade Fonda unleashed against women affiliated with the Trump administration and their children. Now it seems that karma has had the last laugh as the film Boundaries bombed at the box office raking in a measly $30,000 since its release. Audiences and critics alike are giving the movie a big thumbs down. After it made headlines in Hollywood for the wrong reasons, Sony Pictures Classics Boundaries received a lukewarm reception at best as it opened on five screens this weekend. The movie was directed by Shauna Feston starring Vera Farmiga and Christopher Plummer, with Fonda in a supporting role. The film has made $30,395 for a per-screen average of a dismal $6,079. Recently, ABC cancelled its hit sitcom Roseanne after the show's star Roseanne Barr went on what some viewed as a racist Twitter rant against former senior advisor to former President Barack Obama, Valerie Jarrett. Barr tweeted, Muslim Brotherhood and Planet of the Apes had a baby equals VJ. The cancellation of the hit show stunned many and industry veterans claimed they had never seen anything quite like it. The reboot of the show premiered to huge ratings just months prior and pre-production had already begun on the second season. Yet not only was Roseanne sacked from the very show bearing her namesake, the TV show was then replaced with a spin-off that does not feature her and the network itself went out of their way to purposely ensure that Roseanne did not profit from the new show. Yet weeks later, when actor Peter Fonda suggested the young son of the president should be put in a cage with pedophiles Sony simply decided to ignore the matter, save one small statement and allow Fonda's movie to be released as scheduled. Fonda tweet, We should rip Baron Trump from his mother's arms and put him in a cage with pedophiles and see if his mother will stand up against the giant asshole she is married to. Fonda Baron tweet. And his vulgar display did not stop there. Fonda just kept going, See if mother, Melania Trump, will will, sick, stand up against the giant a-hole she is married to. 90 million people in the streets on the same weekend in the country. F. Fonda Sarah Sanders tweet, The 78-year-old continued on his tirade calling for violence against Department of Homeland Security Secretary Christian Nielsen and White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders calling for Nielsen to be caged naked and RD while being filmed, as well as tweeting that Sanders' children should be kidnapped. He stated Sanders is a lying G, and that her children should be taken away and given to Trump adviser Stephen Miller for safekeeping. Then made an unflattering comparison between Miller and Nazi propaganda minister. Joseph Goebbels. Fonda Christian tweet. This sickening hypocrisy reveals the dark underbelly of popular media in America. Roseanne is cancelled and Fonda gets a mere statement from Sony Pictures Classics denouncing his tweets but was otherwise allowed to continue in his vile, disgusting antics. No shadow bans from Twitter. No deleting of his tweets other than his own self-censorship after he was shamed into doing so. Sony Pictures Classics statement merely stated, Peter Fonda's comments are abhorrent, reckless and dangerous, and we condemn them completely. It is important to note that Mr. Fonda plays a very minor role in the film. To pull or alter this film at this point would unfairly penalize the filmmaker Shauna Fest's accomplishment, the many actors, crew members and other creative talent that worked hard on the project. We plan to open the film as scheduled this weekend, in a limited release of five theaters. Fonda has apologized for the tweets in an I'm sorry I was caught and called out for my bad behavior sort of way with claims of anger over the Trump administration's zero-tolerance policy of separating illegal migrant children from their illegal migrant parents after they choose to illegally cross the southern U.S. border. His tepid apology stated, I tweeted something highly inappropriate and vulgar about the president and his family in response to the devastating images I was seeing on television. Like many Americans, I am very impassioned and distraught over the situation with children separated from their families at the border, but I went way too far. It was wrong and I should not have done it. I immediately regretted it and sincerely apologized to the family for what I said and any hurt my words have caused." Stephanie Grisham, a spokesperson for First Lady Melania Trump rightfully called Fonda's tweet was sick and irresponsible and advised that the U.S. Secret Service had been notified. In his earlier tweet storm the Easy Rider actor also said we should hack the system and get the addresses of ICE agents to surround their homes and find out what schools their children go to and surround the schools. Calling President Trump a f-king monster, he added, we need to scare the FCK out of, border agents. Need to make their children worry now. Despite Sony Pictures Classics' complete hypocrisy as well as that of Twitter and the left in general, 
It seems the American people have rendered their own verdict of Fonda's movie boundaries and it is a dumpster fire. Adding insult to injury, the film has a 58% rating on Rotten Tomatoes. And it could not happen to a more, twisted, and deserving guy. Isn't karma grand? That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.